Hey guys, Saturday, I had a great weekend, hope you guys are too, thanks everybody again for all your followers, I just wanted to explain to people a little bit, uh, you know, I've been playing harmonica since I'm 14 and been play, listening to blues since I'm about four and I knew how much I loved it at that a very young age. So I'm 67. I don't feel 67. I feel about 40. But that's besides the point. Um, when I play music, especially blues, and I'm I'm learning to play the guitar. I, I only had guitars come in my way as I was a musician playing harmonic and blues bands. I learned the major chords. I learned the basics, but you know, I didn't like, first of all, I don't like th uh, flat picking. I'm not good at it. I do like it, but I'm just not good at it. So I, I learned with my fingers and I still have trouble with bar chords. And you know, I, this tip is chopped off. I think you guys know that already. See that nail it just covers the tip of my finger. I lost the rest of this in a, in a, in a door. So this has been a challenge. Remember, that's my index finger right here. And I, I've got a little area where it can land. So when I'm playing blues, I always see scenery. I have it all my whole life, especially certain songs. I'll see the same scene. Um, I'll see the same scene when I'm see, singing in Muddy Waters, I Can't Be Satisfied. I see the room with a really dim light on, a single bed. And uh, and the doorbell rings and there's nobody there as he goes to his apartment door. So, you know, those kind of things. And that same image comes to me every time I play it. If I'm playing something by Blind Willie McTell, especially that song Traveling Blues, I see the same image I saw when I first heard it. Him walking up to a lady's house. She invites him in for food to feed him. He goes on down the road. You know, he's a hobo and singing about it. But that image is the same image I see all the time. It never changes. And, and that goes for every song, pretty much, that's in me. And it goes for lots of songs. Robert Johnson, Muddy. I see these backgrounds. That's what I do. That's really what I do, man. It's If I, if I didn't have that to help enrich my emotions and my feelings, that's... It's, I think it's a big part of, of, of me just being able to express the blues. Because I understand what they went through. I understand the life they had to lead, the strife. And I realize that it's American music. And I love it more than any other music. Um, I'm embedded in it. Um, I love writing it. I love learning about it. And I love pl learning, you know, period, more and more. And I want to thank everybody. I've met some really amazing musicians. Um, there's a couple really in particular, but I won't mention them right now. I'm really uh, grateful for meeting for meeting them and uh, having them share their music and their kind of their life with me. So I love that. It goes for everybody, man. You know, it's good to take a break from all the bullshit, all the chaos going on. You know, and I'm a comic. I can become comic as hell you guys probably seen it i mean i'm nuts but sometimes we got to just stop and talk to everybody i can live stream when i get a thousand i think there's going to be i'm going to be able to do some really cool live streams bringing some other musicians in so yeah i just want to give you guys a little background on who i and how i roll with my music i take the blues really serious it's not like i don't it's not sheet music to me it has nothing to do with that it's in me, and it has been for a long time. I started singing the blues way before I played a harmonica, and now I do both sing, play, and play guitar. So cool, man. Peace out, everybody.